listen, nobody doubts the talent. Nobody doubts the numbers. But there is that cloud hanging over these guys, Jack. And you wonder what their numbers are going to come in at. And will they continue in the next few years to inch up or down? It is a dark cloud. And this is where Bob and I differ on our ballot. So we could have a little tug of war over here about this. But I look at these two players, and there is a part of me that says, how can you have a Baseball Hall of Fame that doesn't have – the all-time home run leading hitter, and also a guy who won seven Cy Youngs, probably the best player I ever saw and one of the best pitchers I ever saw. But the thing that it comes back to for me is you have to let your eyes tell you what you saw on the field. And for all those folks who want to say, well, we don't know who used, so we can't punish anyone. Well, we can look at the guys who we have more than circumstantial evidence. And if you read Game of Shadows with Barry Bonds, it's hard to come away from reading that book and not believe that he was doing PEDs. And if you look at some of the tests testimony and some of the reports around the whole Clemens situation, it's also hard to believe that he wasn't doing steroids. So for now, when I fill out my ballot, I feel that they have to be penalized. They have to be punished. Doesn't mean I won't vote for them in coming years, but for right now, to me, they're not Hall of Famers. Jack, I am not an investigator. I am not a prosecutor. I am not a pharmacist. I am a baseball writer. Now, my position is you're probably right. They probably did steroids and maybe they even did it knowingly. But I don't have proof. I do not have proof. If Bud Selig wouldn't punish these guys, if the federal government couldn't get in, uh, convictions on either one, Clemens or Bonds, then why is it on me to keep them out of the Hall of Fame? Until you t give me proof, whether it's through evidence, hard evidence, or confession, then I'm sorry. I'm going to vote purely on statistics. I won't vote for Mark McGuire. I will never vote for Alex Rodriguez for the reasons I just stated. But Bonds and Clemens, I'm sorry. You can say there's all kinds of there's all kinds of proof that leads you to this conclusion, but the evidence to me is not is not hard. It's not final. Well, Bonds was convicted for impeding a federal investigation into sports okay. steroids, so he was convicted for that, and he did a little, very small amount of time. But I look at it too as what you mentioned earlier, Bob. Within the vote that we are asked, character integrity are words that come up. Now you can say, well, now you're cherry picking those. You, you didn't use those for other guys. But I think this is where it gets really tricky and why Bob and I at the outset said this is the toughest ballot ever. There's a part of me that would love to just say, of course, I want to vote for Bonds and I vote for Clemens. I think it's easier to vote for them than it is to not vote for them. And that's why I still, in my own mind, I can't check that box. 